Well, a little time has passed since you last visited us here in Backroads County. We've harvested our canola for a small profit, and our cows and chickens are at 100% productivity. We'll begin our day by tending to our livestock, and then we'll see what else needs work as the day progresses. Hello and welcome to the Farm Bubba channel, where we help you learn everything you need to know to have fun in Farming Simulator 22. If you've not watched our first Animal House video, go over to the Farm Bubba channel homepage and click on Playlist, where you'll find all of our previous videos to enjoy. While you're there, please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when a new video posts. Be sure and check out the time codes in the description. Click on a topic to be taken straight to any chapter you like. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll show you how to locate all of those little collectibles we saw in our last video. Okay then, let's get going. First thing we want to do is download a couple of mods. Let's go down to downloadable content, click on search, and type in American Farm. All the way over here on the right hand side is American Farm Buildings Pack. Click on that one, install, and it'll show up in our download list. Let's go back a couple, hit the search bar again, and let's put in small stationary. You don't have to spell the whole thing, just get close to it and you'll see small stational workshop trailer. Go ahead and click on that one and install it. Go back a couple of screens, hit the search bar again. Let's put in high pressure. And we want this high pressure washer here, this steel model right there. Double click, install, go back a couple of screens and hit our search bar again and put in horseman. Double click on that one, install, and that's all we want to get for now. So let's go all the way back out and back into career. Here is our save game for Backroads County. We'll just hit continue. Once again, these are all the mods that we've just downloaded. Like I always do, I deselect, reselect, and we make sure that we've got everything there. Go ahead and click on start. And once again, it'll take a minute or two for the game to load up. And here we are back on the farm. Like I indicated earlier, we have harvested our canola crop and sold it for a small profit. If we look at our field information down the lower right hand side, it needs lime and it needs plowing. We're going to tackle that in just a little bit, but the very first thing we usually do at the start of the day is check on our animals. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. One of the easiest things to do is just get close to one of our animal pens or the barn. Check in the lower right hand corner. We see we have 26 animals. They are at 100% health. They have 620 liters of food. You can also go into your main menu here, tab down to animals. Here's our chickens, and we can see that they are at 100% productivity. These chickens here are seven months old now. They were six months old when we bought them last month. They are halfway through their reproduction cycle, so in another month, they will have some young. We look at our honey collection area here. We can see that there is 138 liters of honey. Let's go over here to the cow barn and check on things here. There we can see we have 35 animals. Their health is at 100%. They have a little over 24,000 liters of food. They produced a little over 3,400 liters of milk. They still have plenty of straw and they've produced 6,700 liters of slurry or liquid manure. Manure itself doesn't show up on there until we come over here to the manure heap where we see we've got a little over 5,300 liters of manure. Now we will take this over to the biogas plant a little bit later on and sell some of that stuff. There's other things to do with your manure and your slurry. We will cover that in some future videos, but for now we're just going to sell it to try to get whatever money we can out of it as it accumulates. One of the first things we want to do is make sure that our cows have enough feed. So let's go in here and load up. There it is. Total mixed ration. We'll go ahead and fill this trailer up, pull it in here and dump it. Well, we got it filled up and there's a little bit left over. So we'll just take this back over and drop it off back at the silo. So we'll go ahead and load up some straw. Go ahead and take this over and dump it. And that's all it takes. So we'll take this back and dump the excess back into the silo for later. So we talked about our field a minute ago that needs lime and it needs plowing. 
Well, the first thing we want to do is plow. So if we hop into our map menu, scroll over to the filters, and you can see that over here in the upper right hand corner, any field that's in red needs plowing. And these two fields that we own need plowing. So we'll go ahead and set him right here, hire a worker, and let them get started plowing the field. Now this is not directly in support of our animals, but we have to have particular crops that we need in order to take care of our cows. The thing we want to look at right now is their feed. Total mixed ration is a combination of hay, which is grass that has been dried, silage, which is grass that has been fermented. The third ingredient is going to be straw, which is a byproduct of harvesting wheat, oat, and barley. And if we look at our crop calendar, we can see that this is, we're in September, and we are able to plant wheat and barley in this time period here. We're going to split this field in half and plant half barley and half wheat so that we can get straw out of both of them. And then in this other field, once we've harvested our soybeans, we're going to plant part of this field in grass so that we can dry it and produce hay and we'll bale it and ferment it so that we can produce silage. Since the crops that we're going to plant are not going to mature until next spring, we still need to feed our cows TMR. Previously, we went to the shop and purchased TMR in big bags, but we're going to use what's called the buy station to purchase some of our TMR in bulk. So go into our shop menu, come all the way down here to the bottom, tab over to construction. We're going to go over to containers and we're looking for something called the buy station. And that's it right there. We're going to take this little buy station, cost us $10,000. We're going to pop that thing right over here, turn it so that this little loadout icon is where we can get to it. We're going to put that right there. So we're going to do a little cost comparison with purchasing TMR. If we hit our R key, that opens up the buying station menu, we're going to go over to total mix ration. And let's go ahead and fill our wagon with total mix ration and see how much that costs. $1,487. As you recall, when we purchased TMR from the shop, it was eleven twenty dollars for a 1,000 liter big bag of TMR pre-mixed. 12,000 liters at that price would have cost us $13,440. So you can see how buying it in bulk from the buy station saves you a ton of money. I don't know about you, but I love horses. So let's add a horse pen to our farm. Go into our shop menu, go over to construction, over to animals, over to horses, and let's do like we did with the chickens and just get a basic pin for our horses. We're gonna line it up and we're gonna place it right there. Move over here to the animal icon, open the animal dialog. I like this pinto horse, so let's go ahead and get one of those. We select it, buy, purchase it for $800, yes. Let's get a Palomino here. Purchase for 800 yes. And there they are. Now for the horses, we need to supply water and feed. We see in our animal menu here that horses have been added, and they will eat hay, oat, and sorghum. So we're going to purchase some oat for our horses. And we see 7,000 liters of oat is all they require. Now let's see about getting some water. First thing we're going to have to do is buy a water trailer. Go down to animals. We'll just purchase this trailer here and run over and pick it up at the shop. So we sent a worker over to the shop to pick up our water trailer. What we need now is a water source. Over to construction, go down to containers, scroll over and there we go. We got a wooden pump and a water source. Let's put it right there. And we're back with our water trailer. We'll just pull around here and fill up with water. And then we'll water our horses. Pull up through here, look for the water trigger. There it is. Let's overload some water. And our horses are good to go. We make profit on our horses by training them. Riding them trains the horses and makes them more valuable. 
So all we have to do is just go in, hop up on one of the horses. And if you look on the upper left-hand corner, you see the riding percentage increases the faster you go. So all we do is ride our horses. Once we've ridden them long enough to reach 100%, all we do is take them back into the pen, hop off, then we need to clean them to keep them clean. Now you notice we only rode one of the horses. The horseman mod will take care of the Palomino as far as riding and cleanliness. So anytime that we do not ride our horses, we try to ride them every day, but if we don't, the horseman mod will take care of them to ride them and clean them so that their value still increases. What we're going to do right now is go ahead and fill our slurry tank. And then we will have a worker take this over to the biogas plant for us. And there he goes. Meanwhile, we will fill our milk tanker and head to the dairy. Actually, Johnson's Farmer's Market will give you the most money for it, so let's take it there. And here we are at Johnson's to unload our milk. $8,342. Now, did you notice something on the ground over here? Another little collectible. Got that one for another $5,000. Be sure and let me know in the comments below how many of the collectibles you found so far. And then I'm going to show you in a minute how we find all the rest of them. Our other worker made it to the biogas plant. So we're going to unload our slurry right over here. Now, you don't make a whole lot of money off of slurry or manure, but like I said earlier, there are other things to do with it. Uh, one example is to use it as a fertilizer. $654 in harvest income. Like I said, that's not a whole lot of money, but it's more valuable to us as a fertilizer supplement that we can use on our fields instead of purchasing a lot of solid fertilizer. Couple more things we want to take a look at real quick. There were a couple of other mods that we had downloaded that we want to make sure that we get onto our farm. Let's go into our construction menu. Go down to tools. Here is our workshop. It'll allow us to repair our vehicles without having to take them to the shop to do that. This is the little portable shop station here. Go ahead and put that right there. The next thing we want to put is our pressure washer. Let's go ahead and put it over here close to our shop. And then one more thing we want. It's a container and it is for diesel fuel. Let's pop this baby right here on the end. Okay, so if we hop out. walk over here you can see that this silo is empty and we want to refill the silo let's just put a thousand liters in here purchase it for thirteen hundred dollars that way we can keep our vehicles fueled up put the tractor in refuel and we're good to go we can also repair our vehicles here just like we would at the shop repair for 248 dollars sure and while we're here, let's go ahead and pressure wash it. Get all the dirt off. Everybody wants a clean machine. Last thing we're going to do is locate all of these collectibles. There was a mod that we downloaded earlier called Easy Development Controls. All you have to do is hit the Function 12 button on your PC or your laptop. And that opens up this menu. If we tab over here where it says show collectibles, it says standard. If we set it to say zero found, we go back into our map menu here. Now all of a sudden we see all these little yellow dots. All these yellow dots represent where the collectibles are. Let's see. Oop, there's a couple of them here. Oh, there's still a bunch of them around our farm. So let's see if we can find a couple of them here. 
You can use your little mini map down here on the lower left to see where they are also. And there's another one right here in front of the house. And there's one over here by the manure pit. And there's another one right there. So have fun collecting all of those. Let me know down in the comments how many of them you find and how much money you collected when you found all of them. Well, that wraps things up for now. If you receive value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when the next video posts. Be sure to leave a comment below to let me know what you liked or didn't like about the video and any suggestions for future videos. And be sure to let me know how many collectibles you found before I showed you how to find them all on the map. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.